be this week i'm living out my best childhood fantasy i'm feeling like a pink power ranger honey i always wanted to be the pink power ranger let's just get into these readings honey hey girl <laughs> my pink power ranger powers are just too much for the singing ball <laughs> my beautiful sagittarius how are you doing my name is simply velka and today sagittarius i'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading uh saji and when it comes to any of my tarot reading sagittarius be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective sagittarius just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could saji so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't sagittarius because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever if you do find some cards that resonate with you sagittarius i would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's just how we keep up with y'all through the comments saji and as well, Sagittarius, I would like to ask if you do find some cards that resonate with you uh, in this tarot reading, I would really appreciate it for you to take the extra step, Sagittarius, to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, Sagittarius, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take uh, that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, and then finally, Sagittarius, I don't believe any tarot reading, any tarot cards, um, any tarot re reader that you have, that you receive a reading from should be making, should be making a decision in your life, Sagittarius, because I feel like it's your life to live, right? It's not my business to tell you what, how to live. It's not our business. It's not our place, um, to be telling you what to do because it's your life to live, not ours. So, um, with all that in mind, Sagittarius, let's just start getting into your tarot reading this week. Now, we have as the objective, the uh, the energy that you're working towards this week, the energy that you're going to be exuding this week or trying to exude at the very least, Sagittarius is the Ten of Wands. So this is the time of where you are going to be dealing with your challenges. This is a time of... Um, kind of like what I'm, I'm seeing like a bunch of pots on a back burner. So it's almost like, yeah, <laughs> really random, but it's just like also seeing like dust in a corner. And I know what it means, but it's just like, hello, was it necessary? Um, so it's almost just like stuff that you've neglected, Sagittarius, where it's just like, you've kind of like put it off into the corner, put it off into the back burner. It's just like, ah, oh, I'll wash that dish later. Uh, I'll like, Clear, clean up that fruit loop, fruit loop later. I'll just sweep it over to the corner and I'll like pick it up later, right? Some stuff that, you know, it's like, oh, I'll put that out for recycling later, right? Um, it's like, oh, I'll deal with this situation later. I'll address this person later. I'll figure this out later, 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 later. Well, honey, Sagittarius, these tarot cards are saying that later is here. Later has come and now it's time for you to start paying attention, to start looking at it, right? It's time for you to start addressing things because it's like if you continue having this ten of wands baggage in your life i don't see progress in your life and that's just me being extremely blunt with you sagittarius um because i see so many things trying to come through for you in a lot of ways whether it's emotional fulfillment and your passion like a lot like all encompassing i feel like um so much is like waiting for you to grab for you to grab up at that opportunity so much is waiting for you to go up that pyramid um sagittarius but you know it's not saying that you're not but it's really hard to make as much progress as you could will say sagittarius by you carrying on to a bunch of baggage now i know in your previous readings as well sagittarius you have been in the situation of trying to make things work with something that just you know it's like you're trying to bring something along that um in forward into your life bringing something along in your journey that you're just like oh yeah come along come along um that just isn't serving you right there you know i know for a while as well you get you sagittarius have been in this there's been a calling for you to do something a little bit more solo um not necessarily separating yourself from a person or a situation entirely, but more so adopting a more independent role with something in your life. Does that make sense, Sagittarius? Rather than trying to include other people in a specific project or a specific thing that you personally feel passionately about, Queen of Wands, right? You're no longer like trying to make things 
be interested into your into your passion or into your flame like you are right you are trying to you're not trying to sagittarius you are finally going to be like you know what i'm not going to make you care about this right i'm not going to make you care about and be passionate about the same things that i'm passionate about but um you so at this point you're just going to be you're still focusing on it right so because you're not forcing other people to care about it anymore you may be in this place sagittarius where it's just like you're for a while going to feel a little bit lonely you're for a while or might even experience some situations where um you're not you feel like no one's understanding you you feel like you can't relate to anybody i do get this sense of where it's just like a level of where I mean, you probably are going to feel a little bit lonely. I did hear that as well, Sagittarius. Doesn't really sound all that, that exciting now, does it, Sagittarius? But before you log out, <laughs> log out, um, before you close out of this video and be like, uh, I don't want to see this reading. Um, I do see this, I say this because you're Nine of Wands and you're King of Swords. So it's just like you're heavily into your own thoughts. You're heavily like having to, it's like you're dealing with a current struggle right now even Sagittarius and you just kind of feel maybe some of you guys kind of feel um mm, a weird side message but I can't help but feel like some of you guys might feel like a little bit of inner resentment um towards something or someone that you feel like has abandoned you and that hasn't uh helped you like with your groceries or with like this baggage here like you feel like you should have had more help you feel like you should have had a better support system in some way and i feel like it's kind of similar to the same situation of what it is that you're trying to uh bring into your life and like make re not relevant but um make it work in your current life uh sagittarius i kind of see this as you seeing something in a different light and being like you know what is this actually like self-serving is this uh not self-serving is this actually like fulfilling for you is this connection fulfilling to you is this project actually fulfilling to you it's like you're seeing something in a different light and being like eh, i don't know how i feel about something anymore with this queen of water or the queen of cups and normal to rome sagittarius this something where it's just like something at one point that you probably cared about a lot now is no longer feeling as it just is hit, it's just hitting different it seems <laughs> sagittarius for you it just seems to be where it's just like you're raising your eyebrow at something and just like uh is this really meant for me anymore page of cups does represent seemingly right off the bat like something new uh coming in right so it does seem to be like uh well let's just see before i continue on with this because it could be Let's just see. Let's just see, Sagittarius. Let's pull some clarifiers on this. Honey, we... These tarot cards, Sagittarius, they came in guns a-blazing for you. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, Sagittarius. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and then the Eight of Wands. So, mm, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, give me a moment as I break this down. So, let's see. So for your Queen of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're going in, like, this is like a, per this has been a progressive thing for you, Sagittarius. You've kind of identified this for a while, just being like, oh, like, you, like, has kind of started leaning into just, like, doing something for yourself. Or you have started exuding a little bit more independent energy and um, going down this path. Um... Probably, I can't help but get this sense, uh, Sagittarius, this is not like something new for you. This isn't like a news flash to you. This is something that's been like long in the works where it's just like, I'm seeing like a uh, progressive like distance with something. Um, but it's like through you, yeah, it's like you're getting, you're doing some type of progressive distance from something in the past by you leaning more so into your own personal passion um it's just interesting because it's just like such an independent energy that we're seeing tapping into this Sagittarius it's like I don't know what's happened I don't know if there's like a specific environmental change in your life 
um, or a person change in your life, Sagittarius, that has put you in the state of, um, or in the situation of where you're either forced to be more independent or forced, not forced, it doesn't have to be forced, I guess, but just in the state of solo, right? Because if this Nine of Pentacles, that's the same thing, of, it's not the same as the Nine of Wands, but it's like in the same concept of where it's just like solo journey, solo struggles, and then solo, <laughs> you know, taking care of yourself, right? Being able to uh, self-sufficiency, right? All of this is about like the self, and that seems to be like the main emphasis for your reading is you just tending to the self Aries or Aries Sagittarius you tending to the self um and it's just no it doesn't it, I don't know it just keeps on seeing like the separation of like this ten of wands seems to be speaking of like a separation towards like I mean I am gonna say it seems to be like a separation towards like people and things that just were not things that were not uh how would we put the sagittarius it'd be like yeah it's just like you're no longer trying to like motivate other people you're no longer trying to um push other people you know it's just like it's just like you know what you want to continue going along then you can you're welcome to join me but at this point you don't have like the energy anymore to motivate other people to be great because you're now finally motivating yourself more you're using all that energy for yourself um, to motivate yourself, Sagittarius. As I was just looking up as well, it showed 11-11 on my recording on my phone when I was saying that. So um, I do feel like this is like a very positive sign uh, for you, Sagittarius. Now, with this AR, King of Swords, rather, uh, we have the Eight of Wands here. So with this King of so Swords, this is where it's like, it's subtle. I feel like this is where it's just like been like a subtle drip of where it's just like each day or maybe each week Sagittarius it's like you're like waking up and you're like looking at your environment or you're looking at these people and you just say like, like each week there's just like I can't help but just keep on hearing like a natural um distancing with something and the page of cups with the eight of swords now this is just an energy of where um yeah you haven't been able to invite new things into your life or bring in new energy into your life because of these um old things because you've been taught like because of your old environment that kept you limited or kept you um, slowed down so in this way you know maybe in that same example where it's just like you kept on trying to motivate other people um to be great and you're just you just don't have the energy to do that anymore um maybe for some other people it could just be a situation of where it's just um change you like changed your environment Sagittarius or like you're in the process or having the thoughts of changing your environment entirely and it's like through like a new environment that's just like where the next phase of your life begins right but it can't, I can't help but feel like you're leaving something behind with that Ten of Wands, you're leaving something behind. You're putting the baggage down. You're lessening your load onto this new journey. Now, some cards just fell. Sagittarius, and I'm actually going to grab them because I do feel like it's for you. Was there any more? Is it just this one? All right, so the card, extra card that fell out was the Eight of Wands again, right? So the Eight of Wands, you're definitely, this is a card you're finally in alignment with your path, Sagittarius. You're finally... Maybe not like right now, like a hundred percent on in alignment with your path, Sagittarius, but like you're in that you're starting to like turn into the right direction. Does that make sense, Sagittarius? I feel like you're really close. There's a lot of progress in this vein of you finally just like living out your life calling, right? Four of Wands, you're finally walking into like your I mean, this is the 1111 card, actually. <laughs> You're finally walking into your 1111 portal. You're finally, yeah, it's just, and maybe this is presumptuous for me to say Sagittarius, but I'm not gonna apologize for it. It does seem to be like you're, for such a long time, you've been feeding energy into like um, an energy sink, 
right? You haven't been for probably for quite some time, Sagittarius, feeling like you've been living in your passion, feeling like you've been living out your true life purpose. And I do get the sense that this is not me. That, again, this is nothing new that I'm telling you. Um, you haven't been living out your life's purpose. And now it's like through some type of like environmental shift, uh, moving up what like whatever this eight of swords is for whether it's an environmental shift or whether it's just like people and things that you were trying to bring into your new life you're finally just like letting go of it because you're seeing how it's just been weighing you down right um and keeping you trapped and stuck and you're just like feeding more into yourself now you're just like all right you know just feeding you're just feeding good things into yourself and <laughs> putting up more energy for yourself now all your actions seem to be leading more so into self-care and for you you know with that queen of cups yeah stuff that just fills up your own cups and that's how you start living in your direct um yeah it just seems like you're just now just living in your alignment you know i don't feel like i need to like continue hashing that out so sagittarius now i pulled some cards about the blessings coming in for you this week and we have the judgment card the temperance card and the king of wands so you got the queen of wands and you got the king of wands sagittarius so you're definitely in your alignment you definitely are just in this place of just feeding like yeah you're just on your right path sagittarius i don't feel like i need to lean into this anymore like speak too much more on this because it's just like with this judgment card i see this you are see this as like you've already taken action towards this i don't see this as for the majority of you kind of something that you've been ra rambling with like i feel like for the past few weeks for sagittarius i've been tapping into you kind of like thinking this through this week i see you taking action this week i see you going forward with this this week yeah i see you in just living out in your true alignment sagittarius this is just such a really good week for you um really with my i guess really at this point my goal with this reading for you sagittarius is just to have you feel more confident in the decisions that you're currently making because you definitely are living in like your absolute <laughs> You're living, you're definitely, I'm just really happy for you because I'm just like, ah, like you're finally, finally, finally in proper alignment. And you feel it too, Sagittarius. You feel it too. It's starting to finally work out. Yeah. Five of cups, seven of swords, two of cups. Yeah, you're finally, you're going to definitely be feeling this too, Sagittarius. You probably already are just like, yeah, it makes sense here because five of cups, seven of swords, this is an energy of where it's just like this. I mean, this definitely five of cups, you're moving on. This shows this is a literally like you putting distant, like you moving from an old situation, moving towns, <laughs> quite literally. Um, Seven of swords comes in of where, uh, you know, you're no longer trying to juggle everyone else's groceries. You're just bring, care, managing your own load. And you're kind of just acknowledging where it's just like, you know what, if I have to leave this couple of swords here and you're going to have to leave those couple of swords here. Right. But two of cups comes in of where it's just like whether this is leaning into like you going into like a new person, welcoming in a new person into your life or whether this is you just like this is a card of just celebration and the fact that you are just in alignment, Sagittarius, no matter which way you twist and turn the Sagittarius, this is such a beautiful, positive reading for you guys. I'm so excited because because it's just like, I know from reading y'all's cards for the past few months, especially in this last uh, couple months, Sagittarius, you guys had just been in this constant struggle with trying to um, bring something along that just hasn't been meant for you, honey, Sagittarius. It's been like, <laughs> it's been constantly be me being like, oh, honey, like, are you sure you want to pack that? Like, do you need to pack that, Sagittarius? You want to, like, oh, okay. You want to keep having that try to come? Like, okay, who am I to argue, right? Sagittarius, it's just been, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy because this is like, now that you're in the proper alignment with your path's calling, with your life purpose, finally filling choosing to fill up your own cup and put energy into your own things rather than trying to motivate other people honey this is where the proper starts coming in for you sagittarius so i really celebrate you for that this is really an exciting time for you your final cards coming in five of wands here yeah i feel like you're just letting go of these things that were bringing you conflict before it's like you're releasing anything that gave you those conflicting thoughts anything that made you feel like um 
yeah, you're just getting rid of those conflicting thoughts. Page of Cups comes in again for you. This is twice now. This is new energy. This is you welcoming in new things. Uh, Sagittarius, like truly, your new life is starting <laughs> with this. Like this, your your new life is starting because you're just finally living the life that you're supposed you're supposed to be living. Sounds so dramatic, but it's true. Um, the Emperor card as well. Yeah, you, you, you. This is all from your own making. This nothing here is is a news flash for you because you, you, you're just finally getting it, and I'm just so happy and I celebrate you for that, Sagittarius. But um. Yeah, Saji, that's the reading that I have for you. If you did enjoy this reading, Sagittarius, I would love for you to, again, to remember to leave me in the comments below which cards did. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, and then be sure to uh, share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my video, Sagittarius. Until next time, I love you so much, Saji. Bye.